I go shoot this show titled Mission Impossible? Or do I go to Lake of the Ozarks and actually catch fish? So I decided to actually, this is gonna be entertaining. This is gonna be informational. This is gonna be as real as Mike Bass Outdoors has been. And I'm nervous about shooting this because we're going up here to Mark Twain Lake in the middle. Actually, it's the end of January. Today is January 28th. We're going up here. We're taking a risk to shoot Mission Impossible. All I wanna do is catch one bass out of this lake, if possible. So leading up to this point, you know, all of my buddies that fish up here, great anglers. I'm talking about some of the most talented sticks on the planet have told me, water below 50 degrees on Mark Twain, don't even venture forth. And I wanna test the theory. Is it true or false? We're gonna go see. So, and we're gonna give it a hard try. You're gonna see how I break down the lake. I might even wind up giving away way too much stuff in order to catch this bass, if I can, if I get lucky enough, but I'm gonna tell you right now, we're gonna go give it a try. Stay tuned, My Bass Outdoors, Mark Twain, Mission Impossible. Let's go. There she is. Salt River down below. Mark Twain right here. I actually am going to opt and put on a very near and dear color to me called stain reaction. We're gonna we're gonna really try and catch these fish in Mission Impossible today. Blood of Jesus over me, cover me out here today. Water clarity is not terrible. I think I can catch some on a jerk bait. Even with the ice, uh, I think we're just going to have to really fish them and see how they react to it. But we get a good one on. I think stain reaction is probably our best bet for a day like today. That's some kind of crankbait. Maybe a jig, but I'm not going to hold my breath with a jig. I like the idea of just... Uh, Jerk bait a lot. Like, I'm in the of the so water. why I chose to throw a jerk bait is it will allow me to cover a lot of water quickly, and it just gets bites. There's something magical about a jerk bait. It's doable for sure. 37 degrees. We're gonna have to really work on this fish. I think fishing a lot of channel banks and stuff like that on this lake mission impossible is going to be the way we're gonna have to find something special we probably don't even have we don't have much visibility but i think if you get it around the right places you're catching the shad are starting to die and that's a big thing for them bass i mean looking at that shad looking at my Stain reaction, that's a big that's a big key. So what I'm trying to do here is match the hatch. 
I noticed that there are gizzard shad dying all over the place. And that could be a key to turning that jerkbait bite on sometimes. But it also can be a deal where you go, man, these fish don't have to move that far to get a bait. So we'll see how the day plays out. Well, my heart literally just jumped through my through my head like I thought for sure I had one. I don't want to lose my same reaction. I don't want to I'm telling you, we can we going we going we going to give it heck today. I'm gonna give it as much as I can. There's crappie biting. There's bass biting too. We're gonna go back in here. I know some great places and I know some stuff about this lake. So what I decided to start doing is running a bunch of channel swing bluff ends. Bluff ends create a great place for bass to move up and down in the water column while being close to deep water. It also is a great presence of shad around most of the time. These deep water places are great haunts for a big bass to move up. And that's what we're looking for. We're just trying to cover water. Still using the same approach, I'm going from bluff end point to bluff end point, channel bank to channel bank. I decided to start throwing an A-rig. I noticed that the fish were getting higher in the water column as the sun would come out. And heck, we're in our day pretty deep in the day without any feedback. I think what you gotta realize when you're out fishing like this is it's super cold. In a 49 degree day that I'm fishing right here, feels like 70 degrees, but the water's cold. The water's 37 degrees. The bass are not moving. The water's dingy, and they're not shallow enough to where I feel like I can pick them off. Even though they're rising in the water column, this is something I noticed through, on live target, it is still difficult to get these fish to even move towards the bait. But nevertheless, we're going to continue to try because confidence is your number one lure in the tackle box. So I made a move up lake near some dirtier water to see if the water was a little bit warmer. I know up the lake is... Uh, typically a little bit more stained and usually there's some shallow fish and I was looking for fish on transitional rocks some of these pole timbers that have big root balls down at the bottom of them just trying to get something going I feel like at some point in time throughout the day I should have picked up a jig and fished that 10 to 15 foot water and really made myself slow down. But I'm my wheels are spinning right here. Actually stumped right now. These fish are not Now at this point in time of the day, I'm actually looking at individual fish trying to get them to eat. I know the worst thing for a viewer 
with YouTube is watching a guy live scoping. I will say that. Or active target fishing. Definitely if you don't have someone explaining to you what they're trying to accomplish. So right here, I am fishing some fish that I can actually see this first time throughout the day. I've seen some fish that were actually high enough that would actually relate to my bait, move towards the bait, but I just never could get them to fire. And I had tried fishing the back of the creeks. Some of the stuff that doesn't make this footage is all part of the process of elimination to get to this point. And man, I really tried on these fish that I'm watching right here. They would they showed interest. There was two or three of them. One of them looked really big, but I just could never get them to bite. Now the frustration sets in. I'm done. I'm not even going to entice this any longer. I mean, this is probably one of the hardest fishing lakes I've ever fished in my life. It's just, it's that difficult. It's a difficult lake. And I don't know why it it just doesn't materialize but it doesn't and it's like it's like the fishing here are like done with it or something i don't know now i'm getting out I'm not gonna stay around and it's a nice day i'd rather rather catch something i think we're actually gonna call it a day Mark Twain, one tough cookie. She stumped me. I'm okay with it. It's a learning experience. Hey, till next time, we'll see you. Have a good one. I know, I know that wasn't your traditional ending. Uh, I kind of was sneaky with that, wasn't I? Yeah, I got a little bit of a personality. But in all reality, I wanted to show a true days of fishing where you don't get bit. What's happening here mentally? You know, sometimes that's the part that we forget to show in these shows. Everybody always wants to be a hero. We all want to show when we're catching them, but let's show a show where we're not catching them. So that's kind of where I was going with this. I wanted to show you the real raw moments of bass fishing. You know, when I started my day out, I thought, God, surely I'm not gonna go shoot this show at Mark Twain during the middle of winter time when all of my buddies are telling me when the water temperature is below 50 degrees don't even show up well that makes me want to go you know I always always like trying to do the impossible I still don't think it's impossible I just don't think I made the right moves throughout the day to get bit or the right techniques. Each lake has a different style. Like one lake might fish jerk baits better than the next because it's setups for them. Like, or, you know, heck, there's other other baits, wintertime techniques that I didn't tap into that I think might work. But that takes time and you learn more by getting on the water and having bad days. So where am I going with this? If you have a chance to get on the lake, Get out there, whether you think you're gonna catch them or not. Go put your best foot forward. It can be discouraging, but these are the times you learn the most. You learn the most when you're out fun fishing. I hope you like this segment. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I thank you for tuning in. I'm trying to give y'all everything I know how to do, and I'm trying to give it to you in the real way. We'll see you next time. Take care.